New at 530, one Columbus family facing a tough road ahead as a young girl battles a rare genet genetic disease linked with a high mortality rate, all while working to raise awareness. They've already raised tens of thousands of dollars and are hoping for more. Good evening and thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Jennifer Bullock. I'm Jared Smalley. It is called Zellweger Spectrum Disorder. Doctors say it is a complex disorder that many people do not understand. A rare inherited disorder characterized by the absence or reduction of functional membrane-bound microbodies, which affects the development of cells. It's caused by the defect in the PEX gene, which makes proteins in the body. Now, all this causes life-threatening complications early during infancy. NBC Forest Eric Halperin is on campus with how you can be part of this family's efforts. Eric? Jen and Jared, Lola is the three-year-old girl here in Columbus with that rare genetic disorder. Her family has started Hope with Low, wanting to help others like her. And next month, right here on campus, they're having a 5K. Lola is like a lot of three-year-olds. She loves dancing, playing with her toys and books. Her parents, Sarah and Jake, call her Low. Bah, that's silly. And they want her to live just like any other kid as much as possible. Like she's just such a joyful child that it was like this light in our life that really sh like shone through even those very dark times. When Lo was about nine months old, they found out she had a rare genetic disorder called Zellweger's Spectrum Disorder. It affects development. Those with the disorder often have issues with sight, hearing, and several health challenges inside the body. And it's usually terminal in childhood. It's so difficult to navigate when you're a parent and your child is turning one, you're thinking about all the milestones that you're going to celebrate from that one to two year mark and just realizing so suddenly that Lowe's milestones will be different. It took some time, but Sarah and Jake have come to realize that's okay. Sometimes they call them inch stones. No matter what they call them, they love them. She brings a light into this world, for sure. There really is something magical about Lowe. Right now, there is not a cure for the disorder. Jake and Sarah want to change that. They started Hope with Lowe and are having a 5K in October. All money raised will be going to research at the Global Foundation for Paroxysmal Disorders, what Zellweger's falls under. There is a real, real urgent need for, uh, you know, a treatment that is going to directly address paroxysmal disorders as a whole, not just these individual symptoms. Sarah and Jake had set a six month fundraising goal of $40,000, and that was just surpassed in less than 20 days. It's such a hard and heavy topic, but for us, the day-to-day -day experience of parenting low is joyous and magical, and, and so we, we wanted this, this fundraiser to be something that, that carried that same hope and light. And since the goal has already been met, Sarah and Jake are likely going to increase it. The 5K and the inclusive fun run and walk is happening here on campus on October 29th. And we're going to have sign-up information on our website, NBC4i.com. Local for you, I'm Eric Halperin, NBC4.